Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's me, Taisha, if you did not already know. Today I have another beautiful model. Her name is Melissa. And also, she goes by Ruth. <laughs> right? Yes. <laughs> yeah. On Tyler Perry's Ruth amazing Ruth. show, Ruthless. So, if you want to check out our glam session today, make sure you stay tuned. All right, so let's get started. Y'all already know. Is your face moisturized? I feel like you need some more. Yeah. Oh, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> you can all. You can never be too moisturized. moisturized. We already know how I moisturize. This isn't anything new. Well, first of all, let's talk about how we met. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Take him back. So she was on this show. What was the name of the show? Hello Cupid. Hello Cupid. Mm -hmm. And that was just a, what was it on? It was a web series on black and sexy TV. Yeah. And I was a makeup artist for the show. A blonde makeup artist, y'all. <laughs> she had us so right. I still got that picture on my Instagram. And it's so funny because everybody clicked. Like every, we all had like so much fun. Yes. And that's where I first met her. And I remember she was so dedicated in her character, I was just sitting there in the basement, just watching everybody. You were just manifesting something at the time. Like you mm -hmm. wanted to do this track star. So um, she started off on an oval, mm -hmm. and then one of her characters on the oval got their own show, and that's on Ruthless. Yes. So like, how, Ruthless, how was it just working with Tyler Perry in general? First of all, Tyler Perry is so phenomenal. Like he has poured so much into me, just like positive words of encouragement, of words of advice, words of wisdom. Mm -hmm. Every time I'm around him, I definitely take the opportunity to just soak in all that is Tyler Perry. Yeah. And I'm just very grateful for the opportunity to do so. But he called me. Um, he called you himself? He called me himself. And it Wait, started- Wait, was this <laughs> after you auditioned, he called you? Yes, so I auditioned. Okay, so first of all, he flew all of us down, um, all of the people that he wanted to see for the callbacks, down to Atlanta, which is not normal. They do not do that in Hollywood. But he flew us all first class to Atlanta to audition in front of him for these new shows. So we've got the Sisters, The Oval, and Ruthless wasn't, he wasn't auditioning for that yet. So I had three roles, Taisha. Uh, to <laughs> audition for. And it was just like, oh my gosh, this is really overwhelming. So this so, is the second, pretty much the second audition. Exactly. Yep, exactly. Okay. So I went in an audition for one role here in LA and then uh, they called me for two roles and then I submitted myself for the sisters one on Actors Access. Literally, <laughs> shout out to Raven Drummer, Tiffany Williams. Yeah, Tiandra Gale, like that's the casting department. They literally post mostly everything on Actors Access and that's where I got my audition for Sisters. So then I had three roles to audition for. <laughs> so then I'm down there and like everybody's like, oh my gosh, you're gonna get something. You're the only one auditioning for three roles. Oh my gosh, you're gonna get something out of it. And like I told my team girl, I was like, oh, I'm not coming back without a role. That's just, yeah. <laughs> like, is it possible? <laughs> it's happening, yeah. <laughs> So I literally brought wigs, okay? Because I was like, I, well, I've, I've always done that with different characters. If people want to see me for two roles, I just feel like I have to give them something different. So uh -huh. um, I just remember I had this blonde wig that I tried to dye brown and it turned out <laughs> to be like ash blonde girl. Uh -huh. and the first thing Tyler Perry says when I walked in the room, well, he was just pointing at me and I was like, are you going to say something about this wig? <laughs> and he was, like, he was like, no, I know you. You were on my other show. And I was like, yes, exactly. So That's he remembered you, that was good. Girl, I was so great. She got this can. I went to the makeup store thinking I was doing <laughs> something good, grabbing a new foundation. I'm like, huh, I'm gonna try this one out. She comes here. Oh my goodness. Almost the same color as me. I'm like, wait. Memorial Day, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I had a little moment. Um, so then I had my audition, and then by the time I had done all of them, he was not there for all of them, girl. He was like doing a play that day. He, they were like, yeah, he's about to go do Medea. 
Like he was earlier auditioning us, uh -huh. and then now, now he's about to go do Medea. Oh, he's dedicated, girl. And I've seen his um the whole studio yes. on I forgot it's some uh some channel on YouTube how he has so many different sets just in one building. It's like oh you turn this door and this is a hospital. You turn this door and this is a a law. I'm like the hell like yes. this is crazy. Yes, just like he's the first you know, African-American man to open up the largest production studio. Yeah. We just, there's a lot of firsts. And yeah. it's like, he just continues to be the example of, it can be done if you dream big enough. Yeah. So like, how was your first day on set? Like, what was that like? Was it nerve wracking like at all? The first season, yes. I don't know if I'm wrong, but I feel like we're the only show that shoots like kind of on location. So we're still in the studios. But like everybody shoots in production studios or like, you know what I mean? Like mm -hmm. in the sound stages and we're, we are in trailers and we're in the woods, you know, where they're literally having snake wranglers. So I think that for me was pretty nerve wracking mm -hmm. even. But you, you played like literally two different characters. You were like this spiritual, I guess spiritual mm -hmm. in a way, yeah, mm -hmm. person. And then you were the total opposite of that. Right. So how was it switching between both? Um, I think it well, it was fun first and foremost, just because they are so different. But mm -hmm. it was cool that he decided to make them twin. And that's open. what that was your first major show, right? Yes, that was my first major show, and it was a blessing. Still working on that project um, that you that you met me training for. Oh, so still. you're still trying to work on that? that. Yep. But is Still that a is that a thing or is that something that you're trying to do just within yourself? Like, because um, I know you said you you're ready to just see what's next. Well, now it is a thing. I mean, the right parties have been informed, and um, some people have come aboard that can make some major moves for, with it. You know, yeah. You know, there's just so many steps that I'm learning about yeah. and I'm like, okay, well, I know it's a, I, it's a patience game. Mm -hmm. you know, every, slowly but surely, baby steps. What tips will you give for a black girl trying to get into Hollywood? The first thing I would say is you have got to have perseverance because although I would say it's a different time because now they want, they're looking for, you know, black faces mm -hmm. and black representation in all in all departments, actually. Mm -hmm. You've got to be willing to see that door open for you until it does. Because exactly. there's so many no's that you're going to hear, but those no's should just be taken as like, oh, great, that just wasn't for me. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That wasn't my door, exactly. you know? But that and I would also say classes, training, slash training. Oh yeah, because you training. were you were training with my other client. Um, yeah, Tasha Smith. yeah, at Tasha Smith's. Uh, so Margie Haver's good. I'm actually about to hit up Christine Horn. I need to hit her up. She is uh, an actress as well, but she's oh, also a coach. I'm not good phenomenal. with a lot of names. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Kevin Benton is good. Zell said it best. He's always, always, always. Always studying, always yeah. taking the opportunity to get better. So I'm doing the same, and you should be too. Classes and training is number two, in my opinion. Tips. So I would just say invest in yourself. So whether that be great makeup for these shoots, you know, great photographers, just great everything, because at the end of the day. That's your calling card. Do your research, it's on Google in your area or like if you're in Atlanta, there's probably areas. Um, Can you see yourself living in Atlanta? Yes. I used to live in Atlanta. I would move back you for would. sure. Mm -hmm. I like it a lot. I like it there. The culture is- The culture, uh, yes. <laughs> you can't find that culture. Not here in LA, for you sure. You definitely won't find it in LA. Um, somebody like they're like feeding you lines or well no? there is a script supervisor always but not for the most part you need to be off the hook hello it's if 
professional TV. Oh, I love this. I'm, it's the skin for me. <laughs> <laughs> I need to know these products ASAP. Bro. Because of our tan, mm -hmm. I wanted to use Hula Hun. I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, NARS Radiant Long Wear Foundation in the center of her face. And then to warm up her perimeter, I use Macau. So then after that, I went in with Tiramisu. NARS Radiant for her highlight, and then I use AJ Crimson in her for her contour. I didn't do too much. I just wanted to emphasize her her tan that she got there. So instead of diving into setting, I'm trying to let the foundation sit more and for it to get you know comfortable set into the skin itself. So I'm gonna move on to the eyebrows. I'm gonna use NARS Brow Perfector. So they got beautiful eyebrows. Emphasize them. What were we talking about? So then we talked about the one take. Oh yeah, the one take thing. It's like perspective. At the end of the day, he has a method that really works, and that's why he's able to shoot so many things and almost do laps around the industry, if yeah. you will, because he he has a method formula and his audience loves it. They love it. <laughs> Eat it up. He really should do a class on his style of writing. On his style of writing? Writing. Mm -hmm. Maybe you should tell him. Or maybe he'll see this video. Master class. <laughs> right? And he'll be like, you know what? I need to fly her out to Atlanta. Yeah. She needs to be my key makeup artist. <laughs> you know, I'm just Hire. But um Yeah, so the so did you know about the first take situation beforehand or no? Well, okay, no, I take that back. So Mark Swinton, our lovely executive producer, he um What's up, Mark? What's up, Michelle? Cause that's the whole team squad. Okay, Beyonce, I'm not gonna shout, shout out, do shout outs. But he just is like, if you need anything, let me know. Because we shoot fast. So yes, we're always made aware. So he made you feel comfortable about it, but yes. basically get your shit done. Exactly. Don't play with your life. Stay with your life. So yeah, they tell you, but it's, it's, never, it's never like being there and like, really understanding in the moment that it's, <laughs> that you just did 150 pages. Mm. And you're like, what? How did this happen? So before she sat down, she's like, I need to know what you use because I wanna, She, I guess you wanna get in and start doing your own makeup. Yeah, because at the end of the day, what if you have to touch yourself up on set or you are doing a self tape and like they're asking for you to be glam, glam for a news reporter role or um, not so glam, but still a little natural for a comedy. And like, you just need to know, you have to be aware of these things as part of the craft. Yeah. Just, I just don't know what, what's the best, best product, product for my skin. So, but you yeah. like what we use today. Absolutely. So you can try these out. I'm buying everything you use on me. Today, another item that I decided to pick up from the lovely makeup store was this Anastasia's new eyeshadow palette. Um, Jackie Anna, I think that's how you, I, don't, I hate pronouncing people's names wrong. She has this beautiful palette here. I, I think know. I want to use this this green, but um, I think I want to stick to the palette instead of. But if I don't like a trend, I'm gonna try this transition color called Ginger. I'm gonna see how I like that. I already primed her eye with Max Groundwork. I'm gonna take my blending brush, the 776 brush from Medallion Tools. Okay, <laughs> I guess it's doing what it is. it's it's giving. Is it? Oh, you better stop <laughs> and do a photo shoot on me. 
<laughs> so I'm just wrong. Because, yes. You like, I like That's this, I like so this pretty. pretty. Yeah. I'm it's like, where ginger. am I gonna go? I cannot just let this face be wasted. <laughs> Y'all, are we, are we even getting this? <laughs> Seeing this? Serious. I might have to do another one with you because you're pretty damn entertaining. I, I have people that just <laughs> sit there and just be like, okay, like, girl, get quiet. Get, I mean, I just feel like everything is an experience and why would we be bored? Exactly. Why would we be bored with life? Ginger by Anastasia. The Jackie palette. All right, and then I think I'm gonna smoke it out a little bit. It's called Credit, y'all. Let me see. Thanks, girl. Oh, look at the stomach. <laughs> Show them your screensaver. <laughs> I was like, I gotta post this at some point. Wait, Maybe. you haven't posted that? No, because I, I, because it won't. I don't know how to fit the whole thing on there, so it keeps looking corny. Oh yeah, I hate when that shit happens. Instagram. Like Instagram be hating on a good picture. <laughs> it is so annoying when you just be like, just I don't want to just waste this on a story. So this color is called Zuala's. So I'm gonna go back with Ginger and I'm gonna put that on her under eye. Oh, screenshot, boom. So oh, wow. That's back tap. Double tap, triple, triple tap. <laughs> what do I want it to do? Siri, you guys, you better learn today. Learn something on YouTube today. So what I did was I took I took medium plus and I'm setting her um her highlight before I bake. Okay. Use a new pencil and sharpen it up. Give her a new moment. Ooh, girl, <laughs> you like that? It's different. Looking like Bambi. <laughs> it's different because we always. I feel like everyone always tends to go for the, the smoky look, but we're gonna do that on top. We're gonna get that. We're gonna open up the eyes. A little I love bit. it. So now, what we're gonna do, I'm gonna wipe away her setting powder. Guys, tell me what you think I should be wearing. I like those, cause I feel like the heavier the lash, the more my eyes get smaller. So these are called Royalty by Flutter. <laughs> Royalty. That's why she picked it. Let's do your um, blush first. That is good. Blush is like underrated. Blush is so, when I tell you who, look, this is the makeup artist that got me into blush. Makeup by Ario that does um, Kylie Jenner makeup. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. When I tell you, he puts that blush on. <laughs> does he? Yes. The blush is, you gotta do it. I Like, I don't know it what it does, but look. like, and it makes you look more pleasant. And then I diffuse it out a little bit with some truth and some powder, you know. I didn't find out that I was pregnant. I just thought it was weird because I was craving an In-N-Out burger and I'd never eat In-N-Out. I was like, what the hell? And I went and got it and I demolished it. I got it and on my way back home, I finished it. Wow. Until you knew from that. So no, my friend, I'm not even thinking, but I just thought it was weird. My right. friend was like, the only time I was craving in was when I was pregnant. So your boyfriend, he was living here or he lives here? No, he lives back in. Oh, gotcha. He's coast. 
You went home for Christmas. <laughs> Like you was out here and then, but you know, that's that's what boyfriends or girlfriends do, baby girls and boys. <laughs> like that's, that's what girlfriends and boyfriends do. Okay. Yeah, it happened pretty damn fast, you know. <laughs> we love it. We love it to be natural. Okay. Let's pop this eyelash on. Let me get her out of here. <laughs> You're. I'm like. I'm excited to see what God has in store for you, girl. This is just yeah. the beginning. All right, so let me get this new lip done on her. New lips is my fave. Like, I'm pretty sure y'all see me do nothing but new lips. It's either nude or red for me. Oh. This new um, setting spray is called Oh My Glow. So I literally just sprayed some on a beauty blender and just tapped it and started. So if you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and leave me a comment. And go follow my boost, Melissa. All right, what's your Instagram? Melissa period L period Williams. All right, see you guys next time.